Hi, welcome to Hoop Dee Doo and welcome to the Firework Twin Hoop Trick. Uh, the reason I call it the Firework Twin Hoop Trick is because as you can see in the preview at the beginning of this video, the hoop on the top is being launched into the air, sort of like a firework. Okay, so let's get started. First, uh, we're going to talk about hand position, which as you know, if you've watched my other tutorials, is extremely important. So with this trick, it's similar to the twin hoop isolation, uh, the, that tutorial. So look at that. Um, it's a little bit different, but some of the things are the same in the fact that you're going to be holding both hoops with one hand and the thumb is going to be separated from the other four fingers. So that is similar to the twin hoop isolation. To start with, I'm going to show you the hand positions with both hoops and then we're going to practice with one hoop. Okay, so um, the hoops in the infinity position, which is the figure eight position, that looks like one is on top of the other. Okay, so that position, um, for this move, your hand is going to be on top of the hoops. But for the purposes of showing you where the hoops should be, I'll put my hand underneath it to hold the two hoops together while I show you this. So um, you don't want the hoops standing on top of each other, one on, on top of the other one. You want them side by side so that the one that is closest to the camera is going to be down beside the one that's closest to you and they will be together. Your hand will go on top of them and your hand, the four fingers, will be controlling the spin of the hoop on top. Your thumb will be holding the hoop on the bottom a little bit away from the top hoop so that the top hoop can spin around without crashing in to the hoop on the bottom and that is the main uh, problem that you will find with this move is that as you start it spinning if the hoop on the bottom that's being controlled with your thumb if it isn't held away from the top hoop then the top hoop tends to crash into it okay so always focus on that thumb is controlling this bottom hoop and it takes a lot of hand strength so you'll find that with this thumb you want to really practice holding this hoop and it, it's not it's not very easy, but you get used to it, okay? So that is the that is the hand position, okay? And if you want to see them both together, you see that the thumb is holding the one back and the four fingers are on the top hoop and it's going to be spin the one spinning around. Okay, so first we're going to practice with the top hoop alone. And we're going to practice starting it to spin. And we're going to put our thumb away from the hoop. So you'll look sort of like this, your hand. Okay, your thumb will be, you'll be holding your thumb away from the other four fingers and you will not put it on the hoop because this is the top hoop. Okay, so the, and then the four fingers will be controlling the spin of the hoop. So how do we start the spin? We are going to really push the hoop with this side, with the side of our index finger, and you're going to push it. And it helps if you keep your fingers apart rather than trying to keep them together. So you want your fingers apart, and you're going to push. You sort of let the hoop drop. You just let it drop, and then you keep it going by pushing, just like you would with one hoop. Okay? And you want to make sure that as you're spinning, I'll show you from the side. Okay, so you're going to start it like this with your thumb, holding your thumb out away from it, and you're going to start it, let it drop, and to keep it going, you want to make sure that the thumb is out of the way, and you want to make sure that you keep pushing with the side of your index finger. Okay, 
it, you can, if you want, you can keep your fingers together or you can spread them. You can spread them out. It, it doesn't matter. It's a matter of per personal preference, I think. Okay, for me, when I have the, the other hoop, I think it's easier for me to have my fingers separated. Okay, whatever's easiest for you. The main thing is making sure that this thumb is out of the way. Okay? And then, so you practice with one hoop and your thumb being out of the way. Okay? You practice stopping it. It's really hard to stop it with just those four fingers. So you want to get the hang of it. Okay? And to stop it. And then you grab them both. Okay, I'll show you that from the side. So you get it going, got your thumb out of the way, and you're going to stop it. That means you're going to grab both hoops and your thumb comes back into it when you want to stop them. Okay, so let's try it with both hoops. I'll show you from the front and then from the side. So you have the one in the front and they're sitting side by side in your hand. Okay, and you're going to put your fingers around the top one and your thumb around the bottom one. And you want to hold this bottom one really still. You don't want it to, to move at all because if it's moving and this one is spinning, then it's gonna, they're going to crash <laughs> and you won't have a firework then. You'll have a crash. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start it spinning, and I'll show you from the front first and then from the side. So you've got the thumb holding the bottom one and the fingers holding the top one, and you let the top one drop, and you keep it going with those fingers. And I have my fingers spread out on this one, so you might want to try it both ways, whatever is comfortable for you. Then when you want to stop it, you just grab you just grab all of them together and get your thumb around the bottom of all of them. Okay, so that's what it'll look like when you grab it. But when you start, you can sort of um, let your thumb support it so you don't have to support it with this other hand. It's going to support both hoops. And then when you actually let the hoop drop, you, you release your four fingers and at the same time that you release the four fingers, you give it a push with the index finger and you take the thumb and grab the bottom hoop and hold it away from the other hoop. And then you catch and you grab. Let me show you from the front. Okay, you're going to let go of the hoop. It's going around. And then you're just going to grab it, the top one. Okay. If you want it to keep going around and around, then you just keep it spinning. You just keep pushing with the right hand until you want it to stop. In order to launch the hoop, um, you have to, it's like a toss in the air. And we're going to try it with one hoop at a time. Just like when you're practicing this move, you really want to practice the starting it up with one hoop. Okay. And with the toss, same thing. Okay, so I'm going to have it toss when my index finger, that side of my index finger, comes right to here. Okay, so as I'm spinning it would be now, 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 now. When the hoop hits the side of that index finger, then you want to toss it. Okay, and I'm not going to toss it very high because my ceiling here is pretty low. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a low firework. So here we go. Now, now, now. And when you, when you see the hoop come down, how you, you launched it by waiting until the hoop hits the right, the side of your index finger. Okay, the same thing when you go to catch it. You want to catch it when you see the hoop spinning in the air and it's coming down towards you. You want to catch it right here. Same spot as where you launched it because that will keep it moving, the hoop moving. And that is the secret to um, keeping
keeping the hoop from stopping when you do a toss is to catch it in the same spot where you launched it from. Okay, so if you watch my hand, I'm going to now, now, and I'm pointing to my finger. I'll try to get closer to the camera. Now you can see the hoop hitting the side of my index finger. Now, 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 launch. And then you catch it. Okay? And you're going to practice this. I'll show you from the side with your thumb out, just the way you practice spinning this with just four fingers and no thumb involved at all. Okay? So here it goes. Now, 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 now. Okay? And it's a lot easier to just catch one hoop rather than trying to do this where you're catching the hoop and hopefully it comes back down and, and continues to spin. Or you can stop it when you catch it too. Okay? So I'll do it with catching it and stopping it. Okay, so that's how you catch it, and if you want it to keep it going, you just open your hand and keep it spinning, okay? So there are three important things to remember while doing this move. One of them is to keep your, the hoop that your thumb is holding away from the other one so that they don't crash into each other. The second thing is to remember to catch the hoop at the same spot on the hoop where you launched it. When you launched it, you launched it here, not over here or anywhere else, right here. And when you catch it, when it comes back down, you want to catch it there so it'll keep the hoop spinning. And the third thing is when you are launching, when you are spinning the hoop, you want to keep your arm down right about at your waist, okay? You don't want it way up because then you lose control of launching the hoop. So those are just a few tips that you might want to keep in mind while doing the move. Thanks for watching and have fun with this. Uh, if you have any questions or you need help troubleshooting, just let me know and I'd be happy to help you. Um, and good luck and happy hooping.